Hello everyone, the build of the program has changed and I am often asked about it. I decide to make a video on the new assembly. Consider assemblies of two versions of the program, DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. The first thing you need to do is install the necessary program Visual Studio, Node.js and Git. Next, run the command line. First, I specify the directory where I will download the file from the GitHub. In my case, this is drive the temp folder. I copy the first line from instruction and paste it into the command line. The computer start download all the necessary files from the GitHub. After that, go to the arm and paint folder, paste CT arm and paint into the command line. Next, copy the line from the instruction node, armor core, make, g, etc. This command will launch the node program and convert the files to create a direct 11 version of the program. After conversion, go to the armor core folder, CD armor core. Next, we need to unpack the archive at the specified path. Then the following command git apply path etc. This is a patch. Following command node make g direct 3d11 converting files again. After execute this command, we create a Visual Studio program project. Let's open it. In the project properties, we copy this text in the argument field. Let's apply the changes. Then we switch the build mode to release and start building the program. Copy the .exe file Chrome from the folder along this path and paste it into this folder. For convenience, I copy all files from this folder to new folder. The program has been assembled. DirectX 12 version. The principle is the same. But we copy the lines from this instruction. Copy the command node armor core make g direct 3d 12. This command will run the node program and convert the files to create a DirectX 12 version of the program. After conversion, go to the Armor Core folder. Next, we need to unpack the archive at the specified path. Further, the following command from the instruction, there are patches.
next command not king make g direct 3d 12 ray trace dxr converting files again after execute this command we create a visual studio program project let's open it In the project properties, we copy this text in the argument field. Let's apply the changes. Then we switch the build mode to release and start building the program. Copy the .exe file Chrome from the folder along this path and paste it into this folder. The program has been assembled. That's all for today. Thank you all and take care of yourself.